Welcome to the Safaria Source Sheet Builder. Let's start making a new source sheet. I'm going to go to the top menu here. It says Add and Add a New Source. Just start typing in the name of the source that you're interested in. Safaria will suggest to you some text that it already knows about. You can enter now a chapter or a verse for a text like um, Genesis or even a range of verses as well. Hit Enter and we've added this text to our source sheet both in Hebrew and in English. Let's go ahead and add another source, this time maybe something from the Mishnah. And there we go, our source sheet is starting to take shape. Once we've added these texts to our source sheet, we can come in and customize them if we want to, for example, highlight particular words or add um, a question inside of the text. We can do it like that. Um, we may also be interested in trimming out a piece of the text if the source is longer and we just want to focus on one particular piece. We can do that in both Hebrew and in English. There are some additional uh, options for each source in this menu here. So you can choose to add a custom title or a sub-source below a source or a comment underneath uh, a source that you have. Um, you can also add comments in general or outside text that might not be in Safari already. Um, so if I click to add a comment, now I can just start uh, typing whatever I want to say. Um, and just like in the sources, I can edit the formatting and make this bold or appear however I want it to look on my source sheet. Um, if you decide that you want to change the order of your sources, you can just pick one up and drag it. Um, it goes for the comments too. I can just drag it into the place that I want it to be. So let's give our source sheet a title. Just call it My Sheet for now. And click Save to save the sheet. You only need to save your source sheet, source sheet once. Um, after you save it an initial time, all of your edits and updates will be saved automatically. So let's click Save. You can see my name now appears as a credit for the creator of this source sheet. Um, and we are now ready to go. Let me show you one other way that you can add a source. Let's say I'm just searching through Safari and I find a text that I'm interested in. So I search for a word, I find this interesting text in Esther Rabbah, I'd like to add it. Um, if you click to select any text in Safari, you'll get this plus menu here. And one of the options in this plus menu is add to source sheet. So right from here, I can go back and say, I want to add this to my sheet. And now Esther Rabbah 10.4 has been added to my source sheet at the bottom right here. So there are a few other options you might be interested in looking at in the options menu. You can change the layout of your sheet just by clicking to say that you want to have a stacked bilingual layout instead of a side by side. Um, or you could choose to keep a sheet in Hebrew only or in English only as well. So let's now um, see if we want to uh, print this sheet. We're ready to go. We can click print and get this sheet available uh, onto a piece of paper. From here also, if I want to, I could save it as a PDF so that I could send it around um, in, in various file sharing places. Um, but just as much as saving um, uh, as using paper or traditional files, you can share this source sheet just by sharing the link. Uh, if you copy and paste the link through email or post it on Facebook or Twitter, anyone who has the link will get access to the sheet that you've created. Um, and we think that there's something really exciting about you know, keeping these sheets in a digital place, which is that you give people access not just to the sheet you created, but to all of the rest of the text that Safari knows about. So if somebody sees the quotation that you've selected, they can click on that link and immediately open that text to see in context what came before, what came afterwards, but also to see if there are additional commentaries or related texts that Safari knows about, you now start to get access to those texts as well, and you can start exploring um, the, the whole, whole uh, web of Jewish texts, um, starting from the, the one source sheet.